continue reading chapter 3, chapter 3, chapter 3, chapter 3, chapter 3, chapter 3 of Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. marks the spot. X marks the spot. Meanwhile, the thieves had more stolen goods to hide. Come on, the body is gone, cried the thief to their leader. Okay. And then, someone else must know about our cave, Jamal replied. We must kill him too. Let me go to town and track down our enemy, suggested one of the thieves. The thieves was in town before sunrise. Only Mustafa the tailor was already at work. I got the tailor. How can you sew in the dark? asked the thief. It's easy, replied the tailor. The other day, I even sewed up a body while blindfolded. Whoa. A body? <laughs> said the thief. I'll give you a gold coin if you show me where you did that. But Mustafa couldn't remember the way, so the thief put a blindfold on him. Now can you find the house? he asked. Look at this picture. An hour later, Morgiana arrived at Alibaba's house from the market. What's this cross for? She wondered. I think something fishy is going on. She drew crosses on the doors of nine other houses, so Alibaba's didn't stand out. Back at the cave, the thief was telling his friends about Mustafa and the house. I can show you where our enemy lives, he said. He took Jamal to Alibaba street, only to find ten doors marked instead of one. Jamal returned to the cave, very annoyed. Right, he said, I'll give a sack of jewels to the man who can find our enemy. And so a different thief set off to ask for Mustafa's help. Can see the picture here. When they reached the door, Steve had an idea. I'll mark it in red chalk, he thought. After he'd left, Morgiana noticed the new cross. She quickly drew nine more in red this time. The second thief led Jamal to Alibaba Street. There were so many crosses, he didn't know where to start. Must I do everything myself? cried Jamal. Very smart, you know, Morgiana there. Okay, let's start with chapter four. It's getting interesting, right? The oil seller. Before long, Jamal had hatched a plan. First, he ordered his men to buy 38 big oil jars and 19 donkeys.
he filled one jar with oil and left the rest empty. I want 37 of you to hide in the jars, he told his men. See? Then he disguised himself as an oil seller and let, to, and let the donkeys into town. Each donkey carried two jars. Can you see the picture here? Jamal went to see Mustafa. Show me where you sewed up that body, he said, giving Mustafa three gold coins. At Ali Baba's door, Jamal knocked loudly. Can I help? said Ali Baba. I hope so, replied Jamal. I am an honest oil seller with nowhere to stay. Well, come in and make yourself at home, said Ali Baba. You can leave your donkeys in the yard. See the picture? While Jamal unloaded his jars, he spoke to the thieves. Keep hidden until I throw a pebble from my window, he whispered. Then you know it's time to attack. Morgiana was preparing supper for Ali Baba and his guests when her lamp ran out of oil. I'm sure the oil seller won't mind if I take some of his, she thought. She's a very smart girl up there. Can see the picture here. She reached the first jar and was shocked to hear a voice. Is it time, Jamal? It asked. <laughs> oh my god. Thinking quickly, she replied in a deep voice. No, not yet. Then she went from jar to jar, listening for voices. Only one jar contained oil. Men were hiding in the others. Morgiana guessed Ali Baba was in a big trouble. She took the oil to the kitchen, heated it in a huge pot, then carried it out to the yard. Carefully, she tipped sizzling oil into all 37 jars. One by one, the thieves spluttered and died. So basically, Morgiana is the guardian here, right? She helped everything. She is the guardian angel, I think, right? That night, Jamal looked out of his window. All clear, he thought, and threw a pebble at one of the jars. Look at the pictures, guys. It's getting very interesting. 20 pebbles later, there was still no sign of his men. They must be asleep, he thought, and crept outside to wake them. To his horror, he found all his men dead. He panicked and fled. In the morning, Morgiana showed Ali Baba the dead man and told him about the oil seller's escape. There are the thieves I saw at the cave. He cried, we'd better bury them here. It's getting interesting, guys. Chapter five, the, late, the last chapter, I'm going to uh, read it later, okay? I hope you like this video. <laughs> it's a very nice story and I love it. It's very entertaining and it's very like adventurous, you know? Okay, next time. Meanwhile, take care, okay? Take care and God bless you. Love you.